The first thing to remember when talking about gender is that gender and biological sex are different concepts. While someone may be biologically male or female according to their genes, gender is the way a person identifies with the concepts of masculinity and femininity. The term binary is the idea that there are two distinct states, such as on or off, or male or female. However, gender is seen as non-binary, which means it can't be seen as two distinct states. So gender is often described as a spectrum. Individuals may not identify exclusively as male or as female, but a range of other identities. Some key terms that you need to know relating to gender, besides gender itself and the concepts of binary and non-binary, include gender dysphoria, androgyny, transgender and gender fluid. Gender dysphoria refers to discomfort that an individual may experience due to the gender assigned to them at birth. For example, if a person is born biologically male and assigned their gender according to this, they may experience gender dysphoria if they are uncomfortable with identifying as male. The term dysphoria means exactly that, discomfort. This can relate to the term transgender, which is when a person's gender does not correspond with their biological sex. For example, if somebody is biologically female, however, identifies as male. This is usually due to gender dysphoria, as a person experiences discomfort with the gender assigned to them at birth due to their biological sex and may come to identify as transgender. Androgyny refers to a balance of masculine and feminine characteristics. Andro means male and gyne means female. So androgyny is the balanced combination of both. Finally, gender fluid refers to someone with no fixed gender. So, when considering various applications of psychological theories on the concept of gender, remember that it is a complex topic relating to these types of concepts rather than simply whether an individual is biologically male or female.